to show the whole world what we're all about. We're the girls with a passion for fashion. Ooh, we're rats. We'll always be there for each other. Ooh, we're rats. Yeah. Styling how we feel. Ooh, talking about best friends. Yeah. Together we can do anything. We all gotta plan the dream. Take a chance and believe. Make it real. Rats. Chloe, she's really late. Guys, what am I gonna do? A warm-up exercises? We got a lot of practicing to get in. I mean about my life. This is serious. I just had a mondo argument with my parents. If I don't keep up my B average, I have to quit the magazine. <gasps> but that's not a problem, right? It is now. I got a C in chemistry, and it's pulled my average down to a B minus. Not cool. Angel, what you need is an easy A. I know just the class. Check it out, Chloe. Fashion and design taught by Mr. Easy A Nimbus. The equation is simple. Favorite subject plus cushy teacher equals easy A. Fashion and design? You guys could teach that class in your sleep. Sign up for Woodshop. At least you might learn something. Like how to inhale sawdust in wood chips? No thanks. Chloe, are you in? I'm in. Finally. I asked for these reports almost a minute ago. Now fix me a small, low-fat, decaf soy milk cappuccino with extra foam. Chop, chop. Mother of pink, your thing sales are down 20%. Bratz is the number one teen magazine. Oh, those ratty little girls are killing my sales. Hey, pay attention, you freak. Uh, ah! Look what you just did. I've got to find a way to destroy Bratz magazine once and for all. Where's my extra foam cappuccino? I'm coming right up. What at you ugly little rat? For your sake, you better be talking to your sister. Oh, hello, Dr. Waggy Man. I assume my darling little royale aced his doggy checker. What? Overweight? Oh! Please! Of course, I'll take care of it. Mm. Mm. Perfection. Uh, what are you doing? Campaigning. Uh, what, the class orange? For your consideration, Dylan in the most attractive dude category? I'm trying to get support for the year end listings in the yearbook. There's an entry for a talking tangerine? <laughs> Cause you've nailed that. For your information, last year's most attractive was a tall redhead. Obviously I'm already tall. Ish. So I dyed my hair red, since I figured that's all I'm missing. That's not all you're missing. Oh, you're so right, thanks. Yeah, baby. Mommy will get rid of all your little fleas, my darling royal. And your doggy diet starts tomorrow. Now let mommy take you to the party. <laughs> Whoa! Heel! Get back here! How psyched are we for fashion and design class? Way psyched. It's the easiest A we'll ever get. Chloe, this will pull your grade average right up so you won't have to quit the magazine. Fashion and design class. Hmm. Okay, what are you guys doing in fashion and design class? Woodshop was full. And we wanted to expand our horizons. This will be so much fun with all of us in the class. It'll be even more fun watching you guys flunk out. <laughs> yeah. Who let them in? 
class. I have some exciting news. We have a guest teacher this semester. Fashion and design will be taught by one of the most stylish women in the fashion world today. Alante? Hillary Fluff? LoJ? Please welcome Styles High's very own alumna, Berdine Maxwell. Berdine? <gasps> Class. <laughs> Which brings us back to my central thesis. Pink is the mother of all colors. Any questions? Yeah. Can you ask the shop teacher to find space for us in his class? See me for your first essay topic on your way out. Pink is the new black? Discuss? Fuchsia? Fun on the brink of pink? Everything but the kitchen pink? The impact of 19th century labor unions on American textile exporters of pink fabrics? What? This will take a month to write. Well, you have a week. Here you go, girls. See me after class. Great. How are we supposed to write an essay on that? I didn't know I'd be picking up the rejects from Woodshop. Let's see. How about 30 years of pink fashion at Styles High? Oh, great. Knowledge we can use for the SATs. Berdine, I, I mean, Miss Maxwell, can we talk about this assignment? I was thinking this class was going to be, you know, just kind of easy, and now I get this, and I just, I don't know if I can do it, and... Well, maybe if you spent just a little less time on Bratz magazine, you could get your schoolwork done. Which? <laughs> Royal, gotten rid of your fleas. We have to address your FAT problem. <laughs> Fortunately, I found two personal trainers to help you trim down. <laughs> Girls, your assignment for fashion and design class is to design the ultimate workout program. Uh, Fabu. Yes. For Royale. Huh? Royale is 14 ounces overweight. Get him down to his proper weight and you get an A. One ounce over and you get a big, fat, the choice is yours. Dylan, you can flex when I'm done. Okay, remind me again why you're having Yaz plaster a fake tattoo on your arm. Two years ago, the most attractive male spot went to Billy Yates, a known bad boy. I want a tattoo that says, Rebel Without a Pause. Then why don't you get a real one? I'm afraid of needles. Ow! I see you had some luck at the library. It's okay, Chloe. I'm hoping. It's my last resort. Guys, I've tried everything. The internet, the local unions, the Museum of Natural Fibers, even my mother. But there's nothing on 19th century pink textile whatever thingies. No way I'm gonna get a good grade in this class. I am so dead. I've pulled three all-nighters in a row. Well, I guess that means you don't have time to do your Dear Chloe column. <sighs> no, and without an A, I'll never be able to do any column ever again. Just get to it when you can. Schoolwork comes first. Check it out! 30 years of Styles High's history. 
maxis, middies, mutton chops, and mullets. Everything you need to know about fashion, but we're afraid to ask. And to think you guys could have been in shop making a birdhouse. Whoa! What a gold mine! Years of the most attractive dude winners! Okay, fat boy, sprint to one end of the room and back, and we'll give you a diet doggy biscuit. <laughs> what? You don't like diet doggy biscuits? Well, they're yummy. Here, watch how much Casey likes them. Oh, I am gonna puke. <laughs> Watch where you're going, meathead. Sorry. Uh, so, like, what do you think you were doing? Skating. In the hall? So, like, how stupid is that? So, like, not stupid at all. The 1993 Most Attractive Dude winner happened to be a skater. Give me that yearbook. Let's check the index. Maxwell, comma, Burdine, page 102. Huh? The picture's been cut out, but there's a caption. It says, oh! <gasps> Burdine Maxwell Styles High's Worst Dressed! Chloe, you awake? Huh? I'm almost finished. With your dear Chloe column? Scorching! We need it. Oh, no. I meant my paper for Burdine's class. I still haven't started the column. Guys, I'm so sorry. I just... I'm not gonna be able to get my column done. I might as well just quit the magazine right now before I let you guys down anymore. I, I just. <laughs> Emergency cheer up time. <laughs> Chloe, you haven't let us down. We know how hard you're trying. But I missed my column deadline. Relax, I'll do your dear Chloe piece. Thanks, pretty princess, but what if Berdine's assignments get any harder? Then we can shut down the magazine if we have to. Shut, shut down, down the, the magazine? magazine. <laughs> but get real. How can our assignments get any harder? Remember to see me on your way out for your midterm assignments. Don't breathe us out loud. See me after school. Write a sonnet about pink? A sonnet? You know, the old-fashioned word for rap. And for the brats, your assignment is to put on a complete fashion show from start to finish. Pink must be the theme throughout. What? How much time do we have to put it together? Three days. That's impossible. Oh, and by the way, it counts for 70% of your grade. But we can't do this project and still put out the magazine. Oh, well, not my problem. We're toast. Perfection. I'm going to have those brats for breakfast. Mine. No way those brats can do a fashion show and put out their rotten little magazine. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, let's see how you did on your first assignment. Look, he lost 16 ounces. <laughs> you Incompetent. He gained three ounces. For your first assignment, you two get a big fat F. But Since you two morons are obviously too incompetent to reduce his waistline, I want you to design him an outfit that will conceal it. Have it by Friday or you fail the class. Now what are we gonna do, Kirsty? What we always do, get even. Huh? How? First, we need to find Birdface's yearbook picture. It's got to be hidden around here somewhere. Maybe Royale knows.
bullseye. Uh, yeah. yeah! We'll never get the show done and put the magazine out. Verdine's finally done us in. Wait a minute, guys. What happened to the girls with a passion for fashion? But Chloe, she's talking about an entire fashion show. Guys, if we all work together, we can do it. What do you mean, Angel? Jade, you design the clothes. Something rockin' with a touch of pink. Sasha, you take the music and moves. Yaz and I will handle the details. We put on a show and, oh, brainstorm alert. This month's magazine is all about putting on a fashion show. Love it. Feel it. Adore it. Let's do it. We're gonna make it happen, that's what I'm saying. Diet doggy biscuits in my classroom. Mommy's gonna get them for you. <laughs> ah! Those brats. <laughs> Good morning, girls. No need to sit. I'm having you expelled. <gasps> Report to the principal's office immediately. You know perfectly well what you did. This! <gasps> oh my gosh, is that really you? Mmm, nice dress. <laughs> What have you imbeciles done to my poor Royal? We dyed in black to make him look thinner like you said. Yeah, like everyone knows that black is very slimming. You stupid moronic idiots! If you ever come near my darling Royale again, I'll have you boiled in high fat oil. Oh, I can't believe you guys posted these pictures all over school. Uh, yeah. You saw the pictures? When? when we got to school this morning. Everyone was laughing at them. Yeah. Oh, really? I took all of these down last night. <gasps> and this is not me, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Casey, on your mark, get set. Run! Run! <laughs> Miss Maxwell, if it's okay with you, we'd like to get our fashion show started. What? You're ready? Five minutes to show. 911, my male model is a no show. Okay, Mr. Wannabe Most Attractive Dude, you're on. Just be your super style and self. Yeah! Time for your sonic, guys. This is not your mother's pink. Hit it! <laughs> Yo, bro, what do you think? Times are hard, world's on the brink. Don't want to protest. Don't want to cause a stink. Just want to escape and not have time to think. I like to check out all the chicks. Watch them walk. Watch them slick. In clothes so fine. 
This is not your mother's pain. Uh, no, no, uh, this is not your mother's pain. Uh, 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 I said it's not your mother's pain. Uh, tell me, Eden, not your mother's pain. It's not your mother's pain. Word. on the winner of this year's Most Attractive Dude. Awesome! And all it took was being yourself. As scary as that thought is. So what do you think, Dylan? Rockin'! Not only was our issue on do-it-yourself fashion show the best selling yet, but the principal made Berdine give us all A's. Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody now.